An American pharmaceutical firm says it's developed a promising new Alzheimer's drug which could help spell the beginning of the end for the disease. 16 Australians took part in a trial of the medication which has shown to slow progression of the disease by at least 35%. Any of these other people on here? Who's, they, who's these two here? Paul. No, that's, that's your sister Rose, sister Marie. Sister Rose. Yeah. And who's the lady next to her? The memories are fading as Alzheimer's disease slowly fogs Richard's brain. His son describes it almost as a living bereavement, and until now there's been little that doctors could do. But two drugs have now been shown to slow the decline by around a third if treatment is started in the early stages of the disease. It might be a little bit too late for Dad now with regard to um, treatment, but I just hope that, that this news today that we, you know, the families can benefit and we can slow this um, condition down and people can get a better life for longer. New results show an antibody drug called donanumab was able to remove amyloid, a rogue protein, from the brains of people with Alzheimer's. Earlier this year, another drug, lecanemab, was shown to be similarly effective and there's growing confidence that although the drugs are not a cure, we are at a turning point for one of the most feared diseases of old age. Alzheimer's disease was identified first nearly 120 years ago. And while we have seen some progress in how to care and support people and some progress in treatments that mask the symptoms of Alzheimer's disease, we have never before seen treatments that modify the disease until in the last 12 months we now have two and that's why we think this is a new, a brand new era for Alzheimer's disease. An estimated 720,000 people in the UK could meet the criteria to be given one of the two new Alzheimer's drugs. But first they have to be diagnosed. This can be done with a special PET brain scanner, but there are only 69 in England, Wales and Northern Ireland, and they're used for cancer 90% of the time. The telltale amyloid protein can also be confirmed with a spinal fluid sample, but there aren't enough specialist skilled staff to carry out this at scale. Probably 2% of people who might benefit from these drugs would currently be able to get them. But obviously we need to see that change and we've got time to do it, but now is the time to invest, now is the time to look differently uh, for the NHS uh, as her, to how we get these drugs to patients. The drugs have a small risk of serious side effects, including brain swelling, and patients need to be carefully monitored. Do you remember who that is? Yes. That's the club captain. Paul will shortly walk the length of Britain to raise money for more research to find even better treatments that might just make this the last generation to suffer from Alzheimer's disease. Thomas Moore, Sky News in Nottinghamshire.